Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Episode 4 of the vlog. The untitled vlog. Wait. Exposure. Much better. And my lens is still dirty. I really gotta change that. Oh. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> anyway, so I'm way behind on my recording this week. It was another week of um, like studying, I like to call it, learning. And this week it was color grading. I've been watching video after video after video after video on how to color grade. Now, I like doing the Lightroom tutorial or the Lightroom like color grading videos. Um, I don't get a lot of views on them, but it's fine. I enjoy putting those out there, so that's why I keep doing it. And it doesn't take much time to do it. More importantly, I was looking up color grading videos for a video. You notice that a couple of the videos I've shot, um, the color looks you know decent at times. Um, I don't feel like I'm getting the most out of the <sighs> heater turned on, washing machine's on. I feel like I don't get the most out of the EOS R times when I'm recording. And part of it was, I don't think I was shooting properly in C-Log. So I changed the settings for this video. You see them over here somewhere. I don't know what side they're going to be on. So that way the camera's recording in C-Log. I also am now more conscious to record in 24 frames per second, or I think it's 23.98. I'll put the correction off here if it's wrong. Um, so I'm shooting at 23.98 or 24 frames per second um, at a shutter speed of 50, which is gonna be just over double the frame rate, and shooting at C-Log. So hopefully the colors uh, in the video looks even better than the last vlog that we did. Oh, so I also wanna try at some point shooting some slow-mo and of course, color grading it to get some cool shots. Um, the goal, the goal I'm thinking is I wanna, I kind of want to shoot like a Converse commercial, like my own Converse commercial. Um, maybe I'll buy a new pair of sneakers and like do that. That'd be kind of fun. Something different to try uh, down the road. But yeah, color grading has been my homework. It's been what I've been working on. In today's video, we are, again, hopefully you're seeing a difference in the color correction, the color grading. We are also unboxing some lights and we will work on the website. Enter vlog, the untitled vlog, episode Qualtro. Welcome to Hey Archer. Probably wondering why I just did that. Hang on. You know what I hate about the new Tacomas is that when you get in the vehicle and you turn on the, the truck, it starts playing whatever media you had going before you got in, whether it's YouTube or even if there's nothing going, it just finds something that starts playing it. And if your volume is loud, it blasts it. So, so I saved all of you from that just now. I held the card up uh, before I started recording because I'm trying something different. And that little different thing is in the realm of the color correcting, right? Which I didn't even explain. So let's go back a couple of steps here. So you have color grading, you have color correcting. What happens is color correcting, it is you are correcting colors that your camera recorded. So that way it looks more like real life when you're doing your edits, right? So you want your blacks to actually look like blacks and your reds to look like reds and your blues to look like blues, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what I did was I, I have a white card in my wallet and every time I'm gonna record, I wanna hit record, hold the white card up. I'm gonna get a different one that's more like pure white, but I wanna hold it up so that way in the color grading, or sorry, in the color correction, I can hit auto white balance just by clicking on the card. It knows that's what's white, and then we move on to doing the blacks and the whites and all that kind of stuff, doing the fine tuning from that point on. Color grading is when, you know, for example, you watch a movie like Blade Runner, 2049 and it has like that orange tint to everything or when you watch Joker it has that green tint like 
color grading is when you start playing around with the colors to give it different feel, emotion, and all that kind of stuff. All right, just arrived at Lowe's. For the longest time, I actually thought it was Lowe's. No, I thought it was Lowe's. I don't know why. I added the extra L. Anyway, listening to For Those of Good Taste, so if you don't, if you get a chance, check out that channel. Lenny and Matt, awesome dudes, great content. Um, and in this week's episode, they're talking about like good TV shows that turned into movies and vice versa. And they asked, like, what's your favorite? I think the Batman animated movie, Return of the Joker, the Batman Beyond one, <clears throat> and actually Mask of the Phantasm, I thought really good. Um, as far as like TV shows that had a movie that don't necessarily like break continuity or anything like that. So those those are probably two of my favorite. Um, but let me know what your favorites are. Are there like, is there a movie series that turned into a TV show or vice versa that you're like, oh, those are, that's really good. Uh, let me know. They also brought up Star Trek. And you guys definitely, you mentioned my name in that one. Uh, very good point. I think um, what's good about the original Star Trek movies is they came out after the TV show with that crew was done. So they were able to just kind of do whatever. And it didn't necessarily break continuity. But I think there are some things in there that are a little like suspect. I'm not the biggest Trekkie to know what all of those are, but I'm pretty sure that those lie in there. But that's a good one too. TV show turned into movie. Great. Um, anyway, we're at Lowe's. Let's go get what we need to get and I'll show you what they are for. All right, purchasing done. Shout out to anybody who buys way too much stuff when they go to freaking Lowe's or Home Depot, wherever you go. Um, so we got ourselves some 75 pound wire from Blue Hulk. <laughs> Shout out this dude for his YouTube video. Uh, this is actually going to be used for the, uh, the figure posing. Uh, I did buy some NECA stands, like little round ones that their the figures like their feet stand into, but that wire lets you you know pose them like in the air and stuff like that. Um, I can stick the wire in the ground and attach them to it so they could be like flying in the air, that kind of stuff. So that's where that comes from, or that's what that's for. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. And I don't know if I ever talked to the point as to why I'm doing a lot of um, action figure photography. Mainly, it's to learn how to photograph people and things uh, it's one thing to walk around and photograph you know trees and and the water like what I normally do but it's a whole different um, whole different ball game to have to do portraits and photograph people like in poses and getting a sense of depth perception and that kind of thing so that's what actually got me into the photographing of action figures and now I just think it's cool because you know I watch people's photographs and I think those are stills from like movies and or behind the scenes or whatever, but it's actually just action figures. So definitely getting into that. I don't know if I'm gonna go down the road yet of like dioramas and stuff like that, but it's definitely a lot of fun. So that's where that comes from. Um, we'll try some of that out probably in the next vlog, um, but that's, I'm excited for it. I, I'm pretty pumped, I gotta say. Lifestyle brand. So maybe, maybe that's what it is. Maybe we kind of, try to work on, on this one in particular. What else do we do? We do reviews, we do unboxings, we do photos, we do vlogging, um, we do YouTube 101 stuff. I haven't done that in a while. I don't know, this, I, guess, I guess this counts as a YouTube 101. And I think that's everything. In the comments, let me know if there's something I missed as far as like what we do on the channel. So overall, it is nerd but maybe as a whole, right? Is there a way to do like a second page? And they're used illustrator in this way. What is up nerds, it's me, your buddy pal, Hey Archer. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We have not done an unboxing in a little bit of time. Well, correction, we've not done a non-toy unboxing in a little bit of time, so again, don't forget to subscribe. Lots of fun unboxings here, all things nerdy. Again, these are things that hopefully will help you with your content creation, help with my content creation, most importantly, help out with my photography, which as you know, 
I've been into a lot. If you haven't had a chance, make sure you follow Nerd Affiliated on Instagram. Plastic on there. All right. We have an RGB video light. All right. This here. This comes via the suggestion of Ben Aqua. If you don't follow Ben Aqua, you definitely need to check him out. He does all sorts of content reviews, uh, gear reviews, tech reviews, etc. This is an LED light and it has a whole spectrum of colors. So the reason I ended up getting the LED light was so that I can have different colors in my shots, in my photography. And instead of me trying to like force the software to like impose that color or that feel or that tone, I wanna actually have that as part of the lighting. Now the flash, the reason I got the flash was talking to our good friend Mike, uh, Photo Mike, Mike Yeager. I think I shouted him out before. So I was talking to him and he loves flash. Like he loves, well, he loves photography in general, but he was saying that what he likes about flash is it can make like the picture a little bit sharper. So I wanted to test out a flash and see if I would like flashes. So I'll put some pictures up here. Um, maybe that, that'll be its own video, I'm not sure, but I'll put some pictures up so you can see, like I messed around with some flash, compared it to some steady light. Maybe you notice a difference, maybe you don't. That's why I got the flash and why I got the LED light. I didn't fully explain that in the unboxing video, so that's why I'm doing it now. Let me tell you how dumb I am, okay? So I was trying to figure out, right, how to set this flash up, because I've never used a flash before. So I'm looking on, on YouTube for like how to set up your flash, like based on the Yangno, I don't know how to say this, Yangno flash, the speed light flash. So every video I find is wireless setup, wireless setup, wireless setup. And I'm thinking, I was like, I don't, this thing doesn't have a wireless transmitter. I don't, I can't get it to work. So this is, this is how dumb I am, right? I'm not just, I just never done this before. So on the bottom there, you have like that silver piece, right? And on top of the camera, you have this silver piece there. Those are connects, like those are, that's not just a random silver piece to connect things. It actually, the flash actually talks to the camera with this. I never knew that. I didn't know that was a thing. So yeah, I just slid it on there and that was it, which now, I'm like, okay, I need to put the cover on that top of the camera every time I'm not using it, because that cannot get ruined. Because uh, apparently I need that to use a flash with a camera. You learn new things all the time. You learn so much on this channel. Good morning, YouTube. That was fun. Uh, fun couple days of just random, random stuff. Uh, but as you noticed, I did do, I did have a plan. I know I just said it was random. That's not true, it wasn't random, there was a plan. Uh, there was a, a plan of content in the vlog. So uh, it was a good time. As I mentioned a um, couple scenes ago, I'll be doing a full kind of like branding slash like website, um, I don't know, tutorial? I don't know if that's the right word, but like how I kind of figure out how to market this brand, how to design the website, that kind of thing. That'll be its own thing. So. I was gonna have it in this vlog, but it would be too long, too too boring to, to some people. So that's why I just had like that small clip. Either way, um, gonna get ready to do some unboxings right now, some cool things. So don't forget to like, comment, what's your favorite part of the new vlog series? Do you like the new editing, the new color correcting, new color grading, uh, and subscribe. And the other one I never say is hit the bell to get notified when new videos come out. So. That's all I got. <laughs> Standard like, comment, subscribe. Talk to all you nerds in the next video. Peace.